NASA Road defines this community in a negative way. If we can develop a vision and implement a vision to uplift this commercial strip, we'll uplift the entire community. Change is in the air. And I've always told people that I know Roosevelt can come back. All the forces are aligned for success. There is an opportunity to try and build a consensus. The town has the resources to come in and do something with this parcel of land. What we need is some idea of what the community wants. We have the tools to rebuild. We must work together. To a point in my life that I want my grandchild to be a part of a thriving, black, proud community. And that's what drives me every day. We are uh, embarking upon a historic relationship and partnership in an effort to revitalize Roosevelt and its, and its downtown corridor. And it begins not with a building or with a, a construction, it begins in vision. This has been my dream since I was elected councilwoman of this district that Roosevelt gets its fair share. I remember many plans and many promises for Roosevelt. The one thing missing in that was the partnership between the county, the community, and the town. I'd like to learn from you why this time it's going to happen. You've got leadership from both parties working on it. I think it's going to make a difference. I think the fact that, it, that leadership has resulted in an investment of the funds necessary to run this professionally. That the community have a chance to decide what's going to happen in their community. I think that's been a big problem, maybe in the past. Now, I know there won't be a total agreement on things, but maybe we can get a consensus on how we should move forward. And the fact that we're all sitting at this table is something that probably wouldn't have happened a couple of years ago. And the fact that they come to consensus in Albany, we can certainly come to consensus here in Nassau County and kind of Hempstead to get it done the right way. We're working very closely with Tom, who's already got a track record of revitalization and doing things in, in Glen Cove. To have this kind of focus, to have uh, political people committed to this process, uh, I think that we're going to come up with some good ideas and we're going to make them happen. We do need to change our language, not to say that we need a youth center. We do have, we need to enhance what we have. Um, we have a building that needs help. Uh, because it's privately owned, there's no reason why we all can't come in together um, and use it. People have made plans and decisions in the past that may not have been in our best interest. But if we set up a check and balance system, we'll have a better chance of, of catching some of those mistakes. I am now committed to spread the word about Roosevelt and to be proud of Roosevelt and to help to make it better. Any future projects that will help Roosevelt, I will be committed 100% uh, to that. I think 10, 15 years from now, we'll look back on these days and say, my God, uh, look how difficult it was for them then. Look how far we've come since then. Welcome to Roosevelt Park. Welcome to Roosevelt Park. Welcome to Roosevelt Park. Welcome to a new vision for tomorrow that begins tonight. This is the time of movement. This is the time of going forward. The man once said it's okay to fall flat on your face. At least you're falling forward. <laughs> now the worst part is get used to looking at the ground. 30 some hours we've been here already. We can see it. That there is the right set of forces coming together. What about these pictures would you like to see in our community? You see how this picture is with all the landscape? Look at the gas station. Is that something that you would want to see? I want to help build. Myself, I'd like to help build. I know there are other guys out there that want to help build too. Look, we can't negate the history. You see what the I'm saying? The history is not negated. Listen, what's happening is that as they come and bring the vision to the community and no. stimulate us to think bigger no. and better things, wait a minute. They're leaving. It will be left up to the residents of Roosevelt to see this through. Wonderful.
pattern of street connectivity which you have. This is, this is something many towns would die for. We don't want anybody to come in our community and dump on us, and we, and we don't want to keep dumping in our community, right? You're talking about greenery. It's beautiful to have greenery, but when you got all that garbage on top of the greenery, what is that doing? There were two parents who were getting ready to fight and we walked over and we talked with them and we said look sustainable Long Island is having a meeting here tonight we're planning for a better future for your children and also for you they put down their fist because they wanted to see a better future for their children our idea was to have to get all the kids that having just coming home from school, trying to go over to a park gas, on DJ, and all that. Brittany, she wanted the wigs so we can buy our CDs and our music. And like, you know, our uh, Donny Hathaway and our Beatles. You know, and our Ja Rules, you know. We were convinced that Roosevelt is uniquely positioned to become a model for what is best in communities all across the country. A great leader and philanthropist on Long Island in his own right, Mr. Horace Hagedorn, is here as well. It's been a long time in waiting for Roosevelt to come into its own day in the sun. But the time has arrived. We have commitments, commitments for some immediate steps already. That's not something we're going to do. That's something we have. A commitment from a donor. He said it's all right to mention his name. His name is John Miller. To uh, pay for most, if not all, of the proposed improvements at the Washington Rose School and Playground. <laughs> and the biggest process, you just let me finish, the biggest process is really the creation of the Roosevelt Revitalization Task Force. The reason we're doing that is because we don't have all the answers for your community. But anyone who's going to volunteer their time to work on the task force is going to have Roosevelt in mind. Remember, they're volunteering their time. So if we're going to do that, to that means that we do have a, we have a commitment to Roosevelt. County workers come through here every day, and there's so much, so many things they're supposed to do. So I think the first thing in order to sh show good faith is our county coming here and, and do a, a cleanup project, and the community can also help. That's a wonderful um, idea. My, my um, no, the, the county has to clean up. That's a wonderful the idea. Nassau Road and you Roosevelt Park and the lake <laughs> That's a wonderful and idea. the lake. Okay. But, do we have an endorsement to move forward with implementing this vision? Yeah. Yeah.